Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. Our next guest has topped the charts with his Grammy-nominated hits like I Know You See It and It's Going Down. He's also one of the OGs from the Love and Hip Hop Atlanta franchise. Please welcome Kyle Paul, native young John. <laughs> John. John. What's going on, man? Good to see you. Yes. Likewise. Yes. Likewise. Yes. It's been yes. a minute since I've been here with y'all. I know. Yeah. But I'll be with y'all on the regular. I'll be watching. Uh, you be yeah. watching? Yeah. We appreciate it. Yeah. We definitely appreciate it. Definitely appreciate it. Well, Jock, listen, we've been talking a lot about the loss of Kobe Bryant and his daughter Gianna. Mm -hmm. uh, what's your most memorable moment of Kobe? You know, there's this picture. It's not even a moment, but it was a moment in time for him. But um, every time I saw this picture of Kobe where he's sitting in the locker room um, and he's kind of just he's gazing into nothing and he's holding this championship trophy. Mm -hmm. And I always wondered what was going through his mind at that moment to be so well accomplished and uh, as successful as he was. But I feel like it was a moment where he was just like, this is me, I am who I am. Because a lot of people, you know, when, when you're very successful, when you're the chosen one, mm -hmm. when you're one of the chosen ones, you're gonna always have people who uh, don't wanna see you win. Mm -hmm. Then you're gonna evenly have an, uh, a, a group of people who love you and celebrate you. So yeah. I always wondered when I saw that picture what was really going through his mind. Yeah. You know, Jack, what do you, you know, to speak to that, um, what do you think that the Mamba mentality truly means? Mm. You know, a lot of people are saying now, you know, I've got the Mamba mentality, Mamba mentality, but shouldn't that be something that we should have all been striving for? Like, what does it mean to you, especially with that visual in your mind? As I spoke on that uh, phrase, chosen one, sometimes people don't know they're, they're chosen, and sometimes people do. And I believe when it comes to... Uh, that mindset of, of one such as Kobe Bryant. I felt like he knew he was a chosen one. Mm -hmm. So it all cost him by any means. He uh, dedicated his all to being the chosen one. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You got some people who could, like, they're good at what they do. They're considered great, you know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? And they're not, they don't even put their whole effort into it. They're just kind of out there living their lives. But I think when it comes to someone like Kobe, you could tell, man, he never Perfect. in trouble. He's always positive. Anytime, anytime you hear Kobe spoke, Kobe speak, it was always positive. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I think it just, the mumble mentality is to, by any means, it's, it's kind of like, go hard or go home. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 Speaking of positivity, let's talk about your life and love, okay? So mm -hmm. you are recently engaged to Kendra. Yep. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you very much. Yes, how is engaged life treating you right now? Man, it's rough, man. <laughs> Well, it's rough because, you know, you, you think, well, 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 we're engaged now, okay, the next step is to be, you know, married. married. Mm -hmm. but <laughs> Say the word. <laughs> the it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> but it's like, she's, like, so into the idea of it. She's fully committed. I am too, but I'm saying it's different with a man and a woman because I'm like, hey, let's keep hustling so we'll be straight. She's like, hey, what colors are we doing? Right. <laughs> She's a girl. She's I like, know. here, stuff we a destination. About. I'm like, I, whatever you want to do, baby. I'm, right. You know, so <laughs> at times she started looking at me with the confused look like, you want to just go to the courthouse? <laughs> <laughs> like, nah, I mean, I want to be happy. I want to fulfill your dream right. as a bride. And you know what I'm saying? But uh, it's, it's been kind of crazy because she lost her father some time ago. Mm, okay. And of course, I think that that's one of those moments in life where she feels like she's complete. Once she says, I do, mm. but she won't be because her father's yeah. not there in the physical mm. to actually witness it. So right. that causes some problems too sometimes. Yeah. 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 Well, let's switch gears really quickly mm -hmm. in your 30 second answer. What, what was going on with your driving, the, 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 the right, car, yeah. and the people <laughs> trying to shame you? But if I know anything, Jock, is this a setup for a come up? No, man, I was just doing something for the good. And I be trying to prove points to people. Like, okay. you can't you can't care. Because matter of fact, people talked about it, job shame me for doing that, right? Mm -hmm. So let's say if I was late on my rent right now. Mm -hmm. And what I went out to do what I had to do to get my money. Boom. The same people talking about me, they want to help me, so I can't, I can't give a hello somebody a about what they think. Right, that's right. You know what I'm saying? Because they ain't gonna help me pay it. That's right. That's right. Well, thank you for joining us for this half of the show. Be sure to tune into Love and Hip Hop Mondays at eight seven Central on VH1. Now, if you're sticking around for the full hour, we are keeping Young Jock here with us at the table. Okay, so you don't go anywhere. Conversation continues. This is Circle TV it's on all day. social media platforms. Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. We are here with Young Jock, and you know we like to play games here at the Circle. Yes. So today, <laughs> we're going to play a game of pick up or pass up. Mm. So we're going to show you a few celebrities, and you will tell us if you're going to pick them up 
or decline that ride and pass them on oh up. God. And why? Based <laughs> off, of, you know, based off of what you've been doing. Okay. 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 So right. we're gonna let Selena kick it on off. Uh, okay then. So Lori Harvey. I'll Ooh. definitely pick up. She definitely can ride. She can ride? Mm -hmm. okay. okay. In the car. In the car. In the car. car. In the car. In the car. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Finish the sentence, guys. In Finish the, the sentence. <laughs> All right. Okay. This guy is uh, doing his thing. The baby. Yeah, yeah. 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 You pick up the baby? He can ride with okay. me. Mm -hmm. Okay. What about Michael Rain? He plays Tariq in Power. Bye. Run him over. Run him over. For his character. Right. As a, a person. real person. People are taking this character thing too far. Oh, as a real person, he's a good guy. He's really a good guy. Yeah. He's got some good music, too. Yeah. Got some good All right. Music. Yeah, Here's he another one. How about Diddy? Pick up a pass up. Man, me and Diddy gonna ride out. I'm just gonna turn the F out. Where, where you going? Where you going, Diddy? We going everywhere, all over the city. I'm taking right. places I want him to go first. <laughs> okay, stuff. what about Ozzy Osbourne? I, I got some questions. You I got definitely, some questions? I'm definitely gonna pick them up. Yeah, we gotta we talk. Go. I got some questions. What kind of questions? I mean, I just want to know, like, what was it like being who you are? What is it yeah. like from then and now? What's the difference? Right. You know, he's always been this mega star, but like now you're like way older. Right. So yeah. I know you can't be doing the same things you were doing when you was yeah. Yeah. first yeah. jumping. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that'd be a long ride. You Man. can't have talk with me. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, we're gonna have so. to pick up and pull over because we trying to drive that boat, you know what I'm saying? We're gonna pull over. Because I can't drive and I can't drink and drive. Right. And right. you know that's her thing. She likes to drive the boat. So okay. All I, right, then. I pick up and then pull over. Okay. All right, then cool. All right, all right. We're gonna go political here. Bernie Sanders. Oh man. Bernie, I'm definitely gonna pick him up. And I ain't gonna drive too fast because I know he'll look old. <laughs> 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 You know what it's like when you're driving around an older person, but hey, hey, man. You... Hey, hey. Sorry, that was a turn. Right. Sorry, about that. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Yeah. Sorry, Bernie. Sorry. Bernie kind of lit, though. He probably, you probably want to get up in the front seat and have a whole conversation. Yeah, yeah. Bernie sure. probably would. Especially with you. Uh, let's go back really quickly to, mm -hmm. to Pugo. Is that how you say it? Pull up and go, yeah. Yeah, pull up and go. So, are you, do you have a, a stake in that? Man, listen, I need a stake in it. Yeah? It was one of them things, man. I'm telling y'all, so. <laughs> It's so crazy, man, the way this whole situation happened. You know how something just takes place and you, like, don't expect anything from it? That's right, yeah. So, Law uh, of attraction. Yeah. Um, people are always asking me, well, Jock, you always creative coming up with ways to make money. What's, what's something that you would do that people wouldn't expect you to do? And I was like, well, I would go to a car lot, I would sell cars, uh, I would paint cars. And then I was like, and then somebody was like, well, would you, um, would you do something like a uh, drive share up? And I was like, what you mean? They're like, would you drive an Uber? And I was like, yeah. Mm -hmm. So then I was challenged to do so to come up with money for uh, the charity mm -hmm. Big Brothers Big Sister. Okay. Mm -hmm. So when it happened, of course I was like, all I gotta do is put on a hoodie. I'll be straight. Don't talk to people. They won't know it's me. Mm -hmm. Bam. Yeah, it kind of didn't go that way. It backfired. No. Uh, they don't know who they are. Yeah, because people. But there's nothing wrong with it. The it, passengers. It I mean, I, I, hey, I won't. What's care the wildest nobody. thing that a passenger said to you when you picked them up? That was the wildest thing. The video that went viral was like, yeah. you must have fell off. I was like, <laughs> oh my God. I was like, oh, here you go. I knew, I should, man, I was like, man. man. I should have put on the disguise. Yeah. Okay, well, what'd you think about the Grammys last night? Did you watch it? I was in and out of it. Mm -hmm. I was in and out of it. Um, that was, it was, it's amazing because that was a video that I saw of uh, Diddy at a, a, a pre-Grammy party, yeah. uh, Clive Davis's party. And he spoke on how he felt that the Grammys were rigged and, and things of such. And I just remember when I was nominated and I got our address and I spent down $15,000 just to go out there. And they was like, yeah, they already did your segment. I was like, what you mean? I've been here since, they was like, oh no, they didn't televise the rap side. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then, not, no, no shame into Luda, that's my dog, I love him, one of Atlanta's own uh, greats. But, uh, he beat me mm -hmm. with a song that just came out that nobody knew. Mm -hmm. And I was, after that, I was, I was detached. Yeah. I was like, yeah, I'm cool on the Grammys. It yeah. was boring to me anyway. So. <laughs> do, you, do you think right. that most artists have detached? Because I feel like a lot of us be well, kinda like, I ain't watching that. When it comes to urban artists, I mean, that's one of the like pinnacles. You're like, oh, you get a Grammy like you that man. But a lot of these young artists, they don't really even care because guess what? 
They just want the fame. Want the they want that show money. They want that money. You know, these mm -hmm. cats don't even care about royalties. You ask them about royalties, they be like, Shoot. hey, man. I care. Really? <laughs> I mean, I'm, telling, wow. I'm serious. Me, personally, I, I, I want it all. Yes. Yeah. Um, and as an artist, when I was a young artist starting off, I, I looked forward to all of it. The Grammys, mm -hmm. I looked forward to, mm -hmm. you know, being able to use the platform to continue to, you know, accelerate and go higher. But a lot of these young cats, when I talk to them, they be like, man, I ain't think about that. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to go for my look. <laughs> <laughs> well, Jock, I mean, you've been in the game so long. I mean, so many things you've done, reality TV, music, entrepreneurship. You own a, a, a salon. Mm -hmm. You know, you, we like your fly hairstyles. You know, you will do something different. <laughs> yes, yeah. you will. Okay. But what's next for you? What's, uh, what's on the roster for Young Jock? Um, I want to go, I, I really, I'm really pushing forward for movies. Because that's mm -hmm. one of, that was one of my passions. Um, and it still is. You know what I was going to say? What? Comedy. Cause you're so, people don't yo, know, you're so funny. Yo, you know what? I've done a lot of stand-up, man. Shouts out to my dog, Shouter Shouter, man. He's yeah. coached me along the way. And I've, I've had some standing ovations at comedy shows. Yeah. And it's a different feeling. Oh, it is. Cause you know, the music, people are gonna know, it's like, if they know that song, they know it's a hit. Mm -hmm. That's yeah, it, period, yeah. point blank. But when you're doing stand-up, this joke may not go over the That's same right. every time. Yeah. You know That's what I'm saying? Right. It <laughs> might hit hard on Wednesday. It right. might not do nothing on Friday. Right. It's going to be crickets. Ooh, we... Yes. But as a, as a radio personality, I know we're about to wrap up. I mean, let, I want to shout out your team over at Streets 94.5. You yeah. guys are doing amazing. Yeah. I listen to you on the way in. Man, like, I, I just love just, like, your growth as a personality. How has radio helped you in ways Man. that you never saw coming? Just in the, the quickest way I could say it. Uh, it helped put me ahead of the eight ball because a lot of times as artists, we out late at night and we're not up during the early part of the morning. Mm -hmm. And I started to realize, well, who am I in competition with, other artists or the world of business? Mm. Because even as an artist, you're in the music business. Mm -hmm. And a lot of those people are up early. So I was like, once I started waking up early, I began to see a lot of growth and development within myself yeah, mm -hmm. as a person, as a man, as a father, yeah. and as a brand because now I'm up, I'm doing stuff, I'm knocking yep. stuff out, I'm executing tasks. Then I look up at 12 o'clock, I'm like, whoa, I done knocked out a week, week's worth of work. Yeah, right, right, what right. else? Mm -hmm. right. And that's what opened my doors to allow me to do other mm -hmm. things like open the salon, mm -hmm. open up the club, South mm -hmm. Beach, mm -hmm. uh, and whatever else I want to do. So it's, it, it was that's one of the best man. things that have happened to me in a long time. You better listen to John. Listen Wait, to those adages, the early bird gets the worm. Yes. yes. Right. Get it all night. Well, That's we're real, real proud of you, man. Yeah. 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 And thank Aww. you for, <laughs> on a day like this, thank you for providing some smiles and laughing yeah. for us. We appreciate you still coming in. Yeah. You know, this is tough for everybody, but we want to uh, continue to lift you up and continue success on everything. And yeah. the same yeah. to you guys. Yeah, it's, it's going, going down. down. <laughs> yes, make sure you check out Love and Hip Hop Mondays at 8, 7 Central on VH1. Up